got a minute before my nose freezes. Okay. Do you got a minute? Because it's pretty cold out here and her nose is freezing. <laughs> <laughs> we're in uh, British Columbia and we're here at a cool historic site. This is where the last spike for the Canadian Pacific Railway was driven into the ground. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot and we're surrounded by cool, really neat mountains and it's time to get a cache. And there's a caboose. Yeah, it's a virtual cache for this One Minute Wednesday, so one, one cache. One minute. Cue the title. Start the clock. Go. A nebulous dream was a reality. An iron ribbon crossed Canada from sea to sea. Often following the footsteps of early explorers, nearly 3,000 miles of steel rail pushed across vast prairies, cleft lofty mountain passes, twisted through canyons, and bridged a thousand streams. Here on November 7, 1885, a plain iron spike welded east to west. This virtual requires you to take a picture at the Last Spike Monument with your GPS or other item near your home province or a picture for something that's different for international travelers. That's it. Three, two, one, done. <laughs> Mrs. Cash Canada had a brilliant idea because the caboose is, is always at the end. It's time for the end of this video. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here at the last spike for the CPR in British Columbia. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And never know, where will geocaching take, take you? you?